Hi, it's Lindsay from the Lindsay Smith Group. Thanks for tuning into another episode of my Tuesday morning market update. It's my opportunity every week to share with Oshawa, Whitby and Clarington just what's happening with real estate. So last week I spotlighted Oshawa and I was in front of the Robert McLaughlin uh, Gallery, the RMG, and today I'm in front of the Station Gallery in Whitby because we're going to talk a little bit about what's happening in Whitby right now. So let's just look at what's happened over the last week and then we'll focus on Whitby. In the last seven days, we've had 129 homes come to market. That means newly listed for sale. The week before, we had 131, so we were flat. Pretty much Oshawa, Whitby and Clarington, same amount of homes came on the market. What we had different, a little bit different is, we had 74 homes leave the market sold conditionally and we had 112 homes leave the market sold firm. So we had 186 homes leave the market sold. That's up 20. So again, we have a flat market for listings. We have more buyers. This is becoming more of a seller's market. Now, when I go back to the last seven days in Whitby, if we just spotlight Whitby, in the last seven days in Whitby, we've had 49 homes leave the market sold conditionally and firm, which is up five from the week before. So right now, if you look at it as an overview, we've got 200 homes for sale in Whitby. And what happens when you've got the buyers buying but the number of listings staying flat is you get bidding wars. And that's how they happen is when there's not enough inventory, the buyers really pounce on the what's listed available. So last seven days, 35% of the homes that sold in Whitby sold for full price or more than asking. Nobody pays more than asking unless they're forced to. That usually means more than one offer hit over a third of the houses. So if you look at Whitby, and I kind of try to trend as what's going to be happening in the springtime, we have 200 homes for sale in Whitby right now, as I said earlier. We're on track this month to sell about 100 houses. If I jump back to January of last year, we had 157 homes on the market for sale. So we had fewer homes for sale. We sold 50 houses. So we've got a few more houses for sale right now, but we're selling tons more. What that does is this. In January of last year, the average selling price in Whitby was 665,000. As of the end of last month, we started the year off at $745,000. We had an $80,000 increase in value in Whitby alone in the last 12 months. That is phenomenal. So the question I always have from people is this. A, are the prices too high? Or the second question is, where are all the buyers coming from? Terry Bainbridge from the CIBC had a workshop yesterday and two statistics that really stood out from his workshop was this. Of all the, the new Canadians or the, the immigrants coming into the Canada, half settled in the GTA. Out of the half that settled in the GTA, about 100 to 150,000 settle here in the GTA. When, when they buy, 76% of that group are buying in Durham region. And why is that? This is the second question is, can we get any higher in value? If you go 40 kilometers to the west, the average selling price is $600,000 higher than Whitby, Oshawa and Clarington of the average and actually the average in Durham region, 600,000 higher. That's why people are coming out here. A lot of the things with the new Canadians that they, and another statistic he threw out was they care more about what they live in than where they buy, which means they're, they're, they're committed to traveling to work. If you are planning on getting your home sold, and if you are a seller right now, there's a spotlight on you. There's so much activity. I'd love to sit down and show you how knowing these numbers can help put dollars in your pocket. This is a phenomenal time. I can be reached at 905 area code 743-5555, or you can catch me at the email address at the bottom of the screen. Have a great week, Oshawa Whitby and Clarendon, but especially Whitby. Congratulations for such a bump up in prices, guys.